Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift programming logic tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be explaining what functions are and how they can be really useful. So, functions are a core part of any language, like most of the stuff in this series. But with functions, it's like they're really useful. So, a function can actually do anything and they can also be defined basically anywhere. They can be designed, um, defined globally in the class or all I know is that they can't be defined inside of these func. they can't be defined inside of another func but yeah that's about it so to define a function in Swift all you do is type keyword func and then you just name your function so we can have um, let's have function add 10 to number and actually I'll start with an easier function to start off with. So have a func print uh, print hello, and inside of this function, we can just write print hello. So now, if we just use that function inside of the view did load, and we run this, we should see that it should just print hello when as soon as it uh, viewed it loads so we'll just see and yeah there we go so that's how you do one type of function but this function doesn't take any parameters and it also doesn't return anything so next I'll show you I'll create a new function called print and then we can add a parameter so inside of this parameter we can have uh, we want the print which will be a string that's how you define I think these are called arguments that's how you define arguments in Swift they're different in other languages in Python you don't actually tell it what type of value it is, what type of data it is that's because variables in Python are uh, non-set or something like that but yeah so uh, what's this oh I need to uh, do just a print word we can't have the same Okay, so if we use that function now, we can print whatever was inside of that print statement. So oh, we need to change this to word. And we can change that to word. Okay, so we can print hello, and next up we can print word, and let's print hello world. And we'll run this again, and we should see hello from the first statement, and then hello world. So, for the final type of function, we can look at functions which also return a value. So, I'll add, uh, this function can be func add 10 to number. And we'll have the first, we'll have a number as an int. And this will return another int. So, all you do here is, if we don't, if we don't do anything, it will tell us there's a error because it, we haven't returned anything and it's expecting us to return an int so what we can do is return number plus 10 and now if we print uh, if we print wait, print and then add 10 to number let's have 5 let's run this so we see we got hello from the first um, function, hello world from the second, and then we got 15. So yeah, we can also make these optional, so now these can return uh, nils, but yeah. So that's how you use functions in Swift. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in another video.